Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 89 of Project Gotham Racing 2. In this episode, we have more cone challenges to do. Unsurprisingly, we have Chicago, Florence, Edinburgh, and Moscow. So let's get started on this with the Bentley Connell GT. I'd like for a lot of tracks to return to GT Sport, although I do appreciate the ones that are in it. <clears throat> I need to play GT Sport again. I haven't played it in a while. Maybe I'll do that sometime, maybe this week or something. We'll see. The main thing that's on my mind is completing this game. Once this game's over, we have millions of other opportunities of games to play. But it's just this game has to be finished first. This is the best I've kept up with playing a single game, I think, ever in my entire, like, Twitch slash YouTube history. Yeah, Euro Truck. American Truck, probably. I think I like American Truck more than Euro Truck. Just because, like, I like the the looks of American trucks, and I know like American roads and what they look like and stuff, so it feels more familiar to me. I like Euro Truck, but I, I, I don't know. I think I just like American Truck more. Oddly enough. Oh, that's gonna suck. I really hope I get enough kudos. Because <laughs> there goes my clean race bonus. I'm not going to go through that, so I'm going to go around it. Air 404, cones not found, fuck me. Ah, uh, this is suck. Yeah, I saw that they had the DBR9 and the, uh, the DBR9, the Fiat 500, and the 180SX. Wasn't that the newest update? No. Which is a neat, neat combo of cars. Please. Please. Just give me enough cones. Give me just enough cones. Yeah, why do you have to put them just far enough away to where I can fucking barely reach them before I, <laughs> I get the combo? Am I going to get it? It's possible. Yes, I got it. Cool. Big PP energy right there. All right. 14. But the R32... I guess I can make that my uh, my thumbnail for this one. <coughs> Florence, Italy. Fiorano. Actually, I have no clue what this track is called. I know this one is called Fiorano. R32. I'd like to drive one of these two at some point. I'd like to own one of these. Yeah, I saw the, the the update for rolling down your windows. I was like, yeah, that's cool. An interesting thing to think about. Although, Test Drive Unlimited had it first. Actually, probably some other game had it before Test Drive Unlimited, but I know TDU has it. Fiorano is very set. Huh. I did not know that. Interesting information. I think it's there's something Fiorano in this game. I don't remember exactly what it is, honestly. <laughs> Give me kudos. Well, I definitely won. That's good. I like the Mark III golfs, honestly. <clears throat> like the GTI VR6. Quality. Oh, of course. Only Ferraris are allowed. That sounds like a total Ferrari thing to do, honestly. You can only use Ferraris on our Ferrari test track. No other cars allowed. Alright, 16, 15. What are we using? The Cayenne Turbo. Alrighty. The fastest SUV in this game. By a long shot. Welcome to Edinburgh. Welcome to Forza Horizon 4. Ferrari is kind of obnoxious, I'm not gonna lie. 
I drove a Porsche Cayenne Turbo a while back, actually. Fun fact. Uh, it was not one like this. It was a newer one. It was like no eight. It was pretty fucking fast, though. I'm not gonna lie. Definitely uh, worthy of a Porsche badge and a turbo badge. I think he had like 450 horsepower. Maybe more. I don't remember. <laughs> Damn it. Fucking... I wasn't paying attention. I crashed into a fucking cone. <clears throat> I would have gotten my my bonus anyway, but oh well. And my uh, whatever. And I just hit a cone, so haven't lost my clean race bonus yet. Damn me. <clears throat> I need to play more set of course as well, at some point in the future, somewhere. <laughs> It's a great game. I would definitely recommend it. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna cry. Maybe. Random fact, I, I, I just remembered what one of the, uh, the final cone challenges is. And what car you use. It's basically the longest version of this track with the Ford GT40. Spoiler alert, by the way. I don't think me saying what's coming up in a 16-year-old game uh, that a lot of people have played is going to be a spoiler necessarily, but whatever. All right, we're good. We Gucci. As long as I don't crash into a cone, we Gucci. Gucci by a lot. Holy shit! That's a lot of kudos. 1,600 and something kudos right there. Very nice. 2,800 total. I can dig it. I passed by 1,400. And I was like, hmm, I don't know if I'm going to get this. Yeah, I got it. Let's go on the last one with the Morgan Arrow 8. Cool car. Not going to lie. Welcome to Moscow, Russia. Mother Russia. Yes, I see we are in Moscow. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. For the intro. Oh my god, it's still going. <laughs> that is like the longest intro out of any track in this game, I think. I, I also love Morgans. I drove a total of one Morgan at my time at the car dealership. It was like a 55, I think. Somewhere around like mid to late 50s, I'm pretty sure. It was pretty interesting because the shifter was interesting in the fact that, uh, oh, I'm gonna go this way, huh? Uh, it wasn't, it was a four speed manual, of course. And, uh, oh, balls, I'm good. Instead of like the shifter being attached to like the transmission and being on an axis like right at the bottom base of like the shifter, it went straight forward, like the Lincoln went straight forward into the dash. So basically what you did, instead of, you know, just basically tilting the shifter in, a, in whichever direction you need to go, you it literally just stayed flat and you pulled it and pushed it to the side and to the front and the back, depending on what gear you wanted. Wow, that was really easy. So it was super interesting, because it felt really weird to do. Pretty cool though. Bastard. That was my fault, but bastard. I am the bastard in this situation. It was me. All along. Alrighty. Sliver metal awarded. That was almost English. Anyways, that will conclude this episode of PGR2. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.